Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were making our way... Hold on. I do want this. It's always going to bug me now how they skimp over items that they can't carry because the entry's full. Then I have to take the time and energy to go back and grab it. Anyway, we're in Silver Trench, on our way to fight Lugia. Got a long way to go, though. We've actually been here once before. I think I made it around 30 floors in my first time here before we got wiped out by a Hydro Pump. Hopefully we're able to survive Hydro Pumps now. I mean, I survived a Hydro Pump in the previous dungeon, but uh, we were 50 levels higher. We don't have as much of a level advantage in this particular situation. In fact, let, let me see here. How much of a level advantage do we have? Because we do have somewhat of one. Level 60. So we have a 40 level advantage. Eh, headbutt. Need to practice those headbutts. Tell you what. The fact that the leader here is not able to take these Pokemon out in one hit is definitely playing a part in... Pokemon not joining, because it has to be the leader that defeats them. So in that respect, definitely harder to get Pokemon to join. Escape orb? I already have one, right? Surely I brought along an escape orb. Yeah, got one there. Alright, Meta, go ahead and grab whatever these are. For hold orb? Yeah, I kind of do want that. We got a sticky item in here. What is that? Sticky cherry berry? That's not helpful. Swap that out. Oh, that's right. We hit a sticky trap. That was kind of unfortunate. Monster House! Well darn, this is where I could have gone on a break. Whatever, I'll take it. Means we're definitely getting some teammates out of this. I brought along three invitations. Something I definitely- Oh, finally I found you! Or was it Weavile? No, I'm thinking of Weavile. Regardless, I've never seen a Sneasel before. Uh, but in between streams at one point, I went up going into, I think it was Waterfall Pond or some, no, it was a, it was one of the ocean levels. And what happened was I forgot to bring along some invitations. So I came upon a monster house. Oh, I can't go in. Next floor, monster house. Uh, mystery house, not monster house, mystery houses. I found two mystery houses in a row and had no invitation to go into either of them. And then a couple, floor fl couple floors later, there was another mystery house. At that point, it's like, screw this, I'm using as an escape orb, and I'm gonna come back with three invitations, that way... I can actually go into all these mystery houses that are being thrown my way. And you know what happened? I never found those mystery houses. The mystery houses were gone. Didn't get any more. So that was annoying. Uh, do we even want these pretty boxes? What is this? Revive all orbs? Well, we don't necessarily need more than one in this dungeon. Which is totally why I brought three. I might as well do this, though. You're using up energy using linked moves. Now, the question is, do I want to pick up any of those treasure chests there? Given the circumstances, I'm not sure I want to necessarily trade anything out. No. 
I'll leave those treasure chests alone. Oh, what is this Sneasel like, anyway? By the way, you're at level 60, of course. You got Quick Attack, Faint Attack, and Scratch. Not a... Great item, or a great selection of moves. You have Inner Focus, so you can't be flinched, and you have Narrow Focus. You use, moves used in corridors will never miss. That's actually a pretty good one. Oh boy, we're being invaded by all the Pokemon here. Let's move on. Apparently, everybody wants to visit that monster house. This is an interesting room. Somebody's fallen behind. Uh, Charmander? I mean, I'll recruit it, but, uh, this is really not the best place for a fire Pokémon. Especially an unevolved fire Pokémon. We'll take you. I already have one, but we'll definitely take you. Any more ambushes? Okay. Don't waste the heal seed on that. We got a Flaffy coming into the room. Heal Bell is awesome. A reminder of my Pokemon Silver playthrough had that Mill Tank. Really wanted to, to get to a level to use Heal Bell. But by the time it learned Heal Bell, it was the end of the game and we were already done. Never actually got to use it. Okay, you're a liability, but you can join for now. Why not? Natty says you're a liability, but you're a cute liability. This is true. Uh, I need to get back to reading Charcoal. I haven't read it in a couple months because this game has been taking up a lot of my time trying to do some training and rescue mission grinding in it. Okay, is it worth going all the way over there for money? Nah. You, I am okay with joining. So what does that have right now? So you have... Mud Bomb. Not great. I'm sorry, you have Water Gun. You all need more moves. Seriously, level 60? I mean, this field is outperforming you guys. Is that something coming in here? Nope, it's something leaving. And we're following it. Okay, well, if you're not gonna fight us, we're gonna, gonna go ahead and move on. And then intercept you, probably. Nope, you went somewhere else. Don't know where, but I don't mind you being somewhere else. I guess we could uh, go ahead and have a tentacle. Oh, the, fl the Charmander has Flamethrower. Not going to be super duper... Nice! Yeah, go ahead and join. Been having trouble getting your more lively friends to join. You're also a Pokemon that I don't have in any camp. 
So what do you have? Bubble Bean. Acid. Okay, you definitely have better moves. Keeping the spiel. Speaking of OKO moves, I'm definitely glad you're on our side. Remind me not to get up close and personal with feels in this dungeon. Okay, you have a long range attack and I kind of value that. I mean, you have water gun. Nah. I'm gonna do the thing. Why I'm doing the thing? I don't know. Just somewhere deep in my mind, that was the decision that I came to. Okay, 30th floor. It will not be long before we start finding star mees with Hydro Pump. We'll definitely need to be cautious then. Really? Still not down? There we go. There's no need to... Okay, I was about to say, don't kill that, I kind of want one. Gosh dang it! You had to take that extra step, didn't you? Don't step away from the training switch, we kind of need it. I know there's a Pokemon in here. There's definitely... A few quirks with this game that kind of annoy me, but at the same time, it's a personal thing. Oh dear. Uh. W one at a time, please. Thirty-four fl thirty-four f bleh. Thirty floors in. Finally had something run out. <sighs> anyway, the thing that I was saying earlier. As soon as a Pokemon enters the room, it's like they suddenly Oh, that's you. No, we have some unfinished business. As soon as an opposing Pokemon enters the room... Seems like my team on auto mode suddenly changes priority and they'll walk away from an item they're standing next to or something else that I actually wanted them to grab first. But at the same time, I can definitely understand the priority of dealing with an oncoming threat. You never know what sort of attack they might have. Uh, here we are. Change the scenery, which means the opponents are getting stronger. This is where we're going to start finding some Hydro Pumping Star Me. And the worst place to encounter them is while we're in a hallway. The good news is we did do a lot of level grinding. We should be able to survive a Hydro Pump from them now. I'm also going to need to remember, if we do encounter a Hydro Pumping Starmie while we're in a hallway, I have a way out. I do have these stay away ones that I can... Yeah, I do have these... Stay away ones that I can send those star me away if they catch us by surprise. Let's see here. What's on this floor? Oh, there's a monster house on this floor. 
And I do mean in, in an actual monster house and not a mystery house. You're probably going to one-shot that. Yep. Okay, let's take a peek inside the monster house. Do I see the stairs? Do I see a Pokemon? But do I see the stairs? I did not see the stairs, so I'm going to assume that the stairs are not in there. Okay, this floor doesn't seem to have much in the way of opponents, so feel free to continue with your explorations. You're heading towards the monster house. Gives me an opportunity to look on this side. No, the stairs are definitely not in there. We don't need the experience necessarily. So I don't need to worry about going into a monster house to get experience. Okay, you know what? Where are the stairs? Up there. Go the long way around, cause... Monster House. Oh, up, up, up! Okay. I kind of wanted that. Oh dear. Do not want this. Okay, you're out of something. Discharge? Yeah, have all of discharges. I guess this means we're picking up that box. Oh no. What's going on? Don't be falling behind. Oh no! Well, we're not saving that tentacle. This is one of those situations where... Having a... Okay, you are the bigger threat. I just remembered something I should have brought to this dungeon. I should have brought along... the roll call orb. To avoid situations like that. It's too bad we're not gonna find a checkpoint in this dungeon. Could use a King of Scone statue right about now, tell you what. Uh, why are you not attacking the thing? Kinda need to. There's been a whole lot of not attacking the things lately. Like a disturbing amount of it. Big blast trap. Okay, what is a big blast trap compared to a regular blast trap out of curiosity? Okay, this was definitely a floor where we really should have used the Guiding Wand. Before says probably has a larger blast radius. That would make sense, yeah. Okay, we're off far into a corner here, using the Guiding Wand. Okay, level 64 bag on. What you got? 
Ember, Rage, Flamethrower, so you're basically a Charmander who is not weak against water. Rockhead won't be hurt when it uses moves that cause very coil damage. Well, don't have to worry about that anyway. And you got Bargain. Well, if we do another switch out, I guess we can switch you out with the Charmander. Hmm. Uh-huh. Thought so. Oh, there's one of those star enemies I was concerned about. Having you on my team would be pretty nice. Food finder, huh? I definitely don't need that, but... Taking you regardless... Because you have Hydro Pump. That could be useful for us. And recover, so you're not going to be difficult to take down. Too bad you can't use Confuse, right? Okay, Charmander, I'm concerned about you. Go home. Okay, we're definitely into Starmie territory now. That is definitely going to be scary. Judy, Mita, and the Rubber Book can probably endure a Hydro Pump or two. But I'm pretty sure the rest of my team, these low level ones, are going to wind up being one shot. What's coming in here now? An animation that's supposed to play on the whole screen, and because you were off camera, skipped it completely. You know, it'd be funny to think that the star me who is with us is the star me who KO'd us the first time here. Maybe that's why I was willing to join. It was thinking, oh wow, you're a lot better now. You have earned my respect, and I'm gonna join ya. Where did we lose? Lost one of the perfect apples. Well, that's all that we lost. I kind of missed that Mantine. Yes, do the heal. Ideally, I'm not gonna lose this Sneasel. It's the only one I've seen on this adventure. By extension, hopefully, Sneasel will not be KO'd during the Lugia fight. Because I have to make sure that it is still alive and well at the end of Lugia fight in order for it to join. Or so I assume. I'm pretty sure the Pokemon has to be up in Atom in order to join. Oh, thank goodness I don't have to worry about getting a love disc on my team in this dungeon. I'm not entirely confident about bringing a love disc to fight Lugia. I kind of want that. We will swap out the Max Ether. And then immediately use it. Let me see if we can make it here to the 50th floor today. Just about time to end the stream, but that would be a good spot to finish things up. Halfway through the dungeon. Uh, 
And we'll say the 51st floor. You know, we're finding a lot of love discs all of a sudden. But I am okay with this. It is probably easier to handle. Don't have to worry about scary stormies. Oh, I put uh, you in the lead. Oops. Oh well. You can go ahead and kind of go through this floor for us. Knowing where everything is, we can get through this floor a little bit quicker. I mean, we don't know where the stairs are. But we can see these ambushes coming a mile away. Okay, so that's a big blast trap. A definitely a wider blast. Sparking the floor, what is it? Another oh a deluxe ribbon. Okay. Do that swap. And so we have reached the 51st floor. You can officially say that we are halfway through this dungeon. With that said, let me go ahead and do this raid for Maddie, and I will say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.